All right, y'all, welcome back. You know, man, I've had a bunch of people comment uh, wanting me to show how I do that little double rig, how I tie that knot. So, quick story about that. Man, when I was a kid, 25, 30 years ago, um, I fished with a bunch of old guys from the coast. They had a, they used to make a, what, what we call bucktail rig down there. It was called Millie's Bucktail. And that's how I, I come up with this knot from this, this what we call Millie's Bucktail. And we used to catch a lot of drum, a lot of trout, Spanish mackerel, even caught some king mackerel with them. Um, on, and, and the way the Millie's was, they tied a big half ounce up front and a little small jig in the back. Where when I'm fishing, I'm just using two 16th ounce jig heads. Um, <clears throat> behind this show, the next one, I went to another lake with this guy and ended up throwing the double rig too, but with eighth ounce. And, and I got something to show you too. Uh, Charles makes also makes a three inch and a four inch and it must custom make the jig perfect for bass fishing. And I got, to, I, I want to show you some clips on that too. Um, but now I want to show you this, how I tie this double rig, okay? Do is I'm gonna use bigger line because I've been tying it and throwing it with six pound test, okay? Um, but I'm gonna use some 20. I'll show you how I tie it with 20 and then I, I'll tie it with six. Okay. You take about a piece, about two and a half, three foot long, okay? And all you do is keep it in your hands. Let me back up a little bit so you can see. And you make one end a short tag and the other, other a long tag, okay? One a short tag, one a long tag. There's my short, there's my long. And you come up here where you got like that, grab it beside your thumb, and just make your little loop. And under loop just like that keep this loop pinched right here okay now go with your long end first which is this end and you just take it you take your long end and feed it through the back side of the hole towards you and that loop see that back towards you about four or five times. Still keep this pinched because you got to make that loop right there. See it? I think that was two or three. That's four. That's five. Okay. That's your long end. See it twisted there? You still got your loop there. Okay, now you come in and grab your long end in the palm of your hand like this. Come up and pinch your loop right here. Make sure your loop stays there. That's important, you gotta keep that loop there. And you take your short end, this time you feed it from you out. So in other words, you're going the opposite direction that you twisted your long end, four or five times. Two, three, four. We'll just do four since this is a heavier line. Okay? So there's what you got. You got your loop at the top and two twists, opposite directions. And then you got this single piece to here at the bottom. The single piece is going through this loop. Okay? So you take it. And feed it up through your loophole. See that? And just grab it with your teeth, your eye teeth. Don't nick your line with your teeth. Okay? And then you start pulling stuff tight. See it twisting tight? There it is, tightened up. See how it does? That's the way, exactly the way you want it. You got a loop up here, kind of like a T-knot thing here. And what this does, when you hold it by the loop, see how your line does? It pushes away from your jigs, okay? That's exactly how you want it. All right, so let me tie some jigs on it. Okay. 
I got a couple of 16th ounce jigs. And man, you know, people make their own, buy their own, you know, whatever. I bought these from Walmart, you know. It's nothing special. I'm just crappy fishing. I ain't winning, trying to fish no tournaments here or nothing. I'm just out fishing, enjoying myself for y'all. Because I, I love to fish for y'all and show you what I'm doing. But anyway, just two little 16th ounce jig heads, no paint on them, just lead. Okay? Let me show you the knot I tie. And it's a regular fish knot, but I just something I do. I just double my line back. There's your knot. There's your loop at the top. Short end, your long end. There's your short end. Here's my long end. I'm going to start my short end. And all I do is I grab my line, pull it back just a little bit, two or three inches, twist it, and I and it's double back. I just double my line back. Okay? I just double my line back. Feed it through the Okay, finally got it in there. You can see. Now you just take it, pull it back, twist it three or four times. Just a regular old fishing knot. Feed it through the hole you just made at the base of the thing, at the base of your lead head, and then take that X and pull it right back through the loophole you just made. Can you see that? And you pull it tight. Just like a regular fishing knot, you just double back. All right, so now, can you see, there's your top jig and your bottom. Got them both tied on, there's your loop. And that's what it looks like. Can y'all see that? And you see it's twisting a little bit, but when you throw it and stuff, it comes untwisted, just because of the force there. Okay. So let's put some jigs on and we'll tie it on. And you know, we're fixing to tie on some, some of Charles stuff. Customized jigs, I got a couple here. All I do is just kind of feed them on. And another thing, you know, I like to take my little hook, the little number six hook, and kind of just bend it out just a little. Bend it out just a little. Okay. Minus so I can see it, but. <laughs> I think it gets a better bite in the fish too. And then just center it in there, center it in the jig. And I go down two thirds of the way and then I pull it out. Try to pull that right in the center. Sometimes it don't work like that because I can't see very well. Again, but I kind of keep the jig centered because the more it's centered, the less twist it'll do. And that's a little better. That's a little better. Okay, at your bottom jig, let's do the top one again. I just kind of bend out my hook a little bit. You see that? Take my jig. Trying to get it in the center. And then bring it out two thirds way down. In the center. Okay, well, let's top, put this on the rod. Okay, here's the pole I've, I've been <coughs> fishing this double rig with. It's a little, uh, it's a little Berkeley rod. It's called a, uh, it's a little lightning rod. A little lightning rod by Berkeley. And it's got a little, I think it's a little Fluger reel on it. Yep, a little Fluger reel. And I've got it loaded with six pound test fluorocarbon sunlight. Okay, and you see. So this is what I do. For my loop. Line the end of your rod. I'll double it back about a foot. Double my line. And I take this, palm of my hand, I grab this end of my line and I just make a loop, about two finger loop, just like that. You see me just do it. Then I take this end that's doubled and just pull it through it about four times. And the reason I do this is because I don't have to use new swivels. Okay, I think that's three. This will make four. 
and I just wet it and pull it tight. And hold, make sure you hold this in, pull everything tight. See? Okay. And you trim your excess off right there. Trim that off. Because that'll be going through the end of your eyes or your rod. Okay. Okay, now you got your, your double back. See, there's your knot. You just tied. We're going to cut this excess off just a little bit closer. Okay. And then your loop. All right, now I'm going to take this loop from the end of my line and loop it through the loop for my jigs. There's my jigs. There's that loop. All I'm going to do is take this loop and loop it right through it. You see that? Into my line or my rod through the loop of the jigs. And I'm going to take this loop and feed through this loop. After the jigs, see the jigs are on there. Spread this loop out from my rod and take my double rig and pull it up through that loop. And then... I just let everything pull tight. Can you see that? I just let everything pull tight. Quick like. Anyway, you want, want your lines evenly to your double rig. That way you have no excess of line on your double loop, on your double line. And then you want everything to loop together right here on the loop from your jigs. See that? And then there's your T-knot from your jigs or your double rig knot okay and then just everything's looped on right there okay and then this is what it looks like of course y'all have all seen it before me throwing them there's your double rigs that's it cuz That's how I catch them. Sometimes it twists. When it twists up, if it does twist up, all you do is grab your longer line and just twist your line. And it comes right out. You see that? It comes right out. Okay. I'll tell you another little secret. As far as keeping them separated, when you put them on your rod, put one in your hook holder like that, and the other one, you come up here and you put it in the eye of a rod. And all that does is kind of stretches that knot or pulls that knot tight. And that way when you throw it, it kind of, it just keeps them apart. So I'm saying, so I got this one here and this one in my hook and my little rod. And that kind of keeps them apart at my double knot right there, right there. Okay, real quick, you know, y'all send me Time or not there real quick. You know, I got big give a big shout out to Mr. Chaw. I got two new packs of jigs in. Of course, my lovely pearls. I love the pearl. That's the, the pearl's my top color. You know, somebody asked me, Corey. Corey asked me, top five. <laughs> Man, if that water's a bit clear, I mean just a touch of it. I'm throwing that pearl. I love that pearl. He's also got a pearl with blue, like a blue haze to it. Uh a blue shimmer or something man that's that's real good too the pearl with the blue the plain pearl with the silver flake if you can see that and that stained water muddy water you can't beat that that chartreuse that what they call crack green man that's that's just that's just that's just a ticket man man I, that's the I, I just that's the colors i love the most you know i, I y'all made some of this some of these with me with the, with a pink flake in it that that was killer too you know um y'all text y'all Text y'all, get some of these. I'm telling you, go back a couple videos and you see me in the water with them and them things, you just hold the rod and them things are still, just like it's alive. I mean, it's just crazy. I think I was down on Norman. I was in some clear water so I could show you. 910-787-5565, um, text him. Get some of um, them. Crash.